This is part 55 of AngularCRAD tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss the sequence of navigation events that are triggered by the Angular router when navigating from one route to another route. These navigation events range from when the navigation starts and ends to many points in between. To see the sequence of events that are triggered by the Angular router, all we have to do is enable tracing. To enable tracing, we pass an object as a second parameter to the for root method and within that object, we set enable tracing property to true. This is going to log all the navigation events that are triggered when navigating from one route to another route to the browser console. So let's look at this in action now. In the application that we've been working with so far in this video series, all the routes are configured in the root application module, which is app module. And this module is present in this file app.module.ts. As we scroll down, notice we have all our routes configured right here. And then we are passing this constant to the for root method on the router module as a first parameter. Now to enable tracing, we pass an object as a second parameter and notice when we set this property enable tracing to true, it's going to make the router log all its internal events to the browser console. So let's set enable tracing to true. Now let's launch browser developer tools. Notice we already have the sequence of navigation events logged to the browser console. Let's clear what we have in the console and navigate to the create route. Notice the first event that is triggered is navigation start. As the name implies, this event is triggered when the route navigation starts. And then we have routes recognized. Again, as the name implies, this router event is triggered when the application routes are recognized. Followed by that, we have guards check start. This event is triggered when the route guards start execution. Some of these events also have their corresponding end events. For example, navigation start has navigation end. Similarly, guards check start has guards check end. So the last event that is triggered is navigation end. This event is raised when the navigation ends. In addition to these routes, we also have navigation cancel and navigation error. As the name implies, this navigation error event is triggered if there is an unexpected error when navigating from one route to another route. Navigation cancel. This event is triggered when route navigation is cancelled by a route guard, for example. Let's look at this in action. Notice on the create route, we have can deactivate guard. So let's make this create employee form dirty. And now when we try to leave the create route, we have our can deactivate guard execution start and look at the event right here. Guards check start event is triggered. And now when I click the cancel button, we have guards check end event and then navigation cancel event because we cancel the navigation. We don't have navigation end because we did not successfully end the route navigation. We canceled the navigation. That's why it ended with navigation cancel event. At this point, you might be wondering, what are the use cases of these route navigation events? Well, there are many. For example, you may use these events to monitor routes. You can also use them to troubleshoot when your application routing does not work as expected. We may also use them to display loading or processing request message if there is a delay navigating from one route to another route. For example, in our case, when we navigate to the list route, there is a delay of two seconds before the list route is activated and the associated view template is rendered. Notice this again, when we navigate to the list route, it takes at least two seconds before the list route is activated and its associated view template is rendered. So what we want to do is display loading message to the end user during those two seconds wait time so he knows that the application is busy processing his request. We'll discuss how to do this in our next video. That's it in this video. Thank you for watching and have a great day.